In this video, we're going to take a look at Guy Lussac's law. So, what does Guy Lussac's law say? Well, it says that for a gas, when the volume is constant, there is a direct relationship between temperature in Kelvin and pressure in kPa. And so, if you were to graph this relationship, you would get a straight increasing line. So, when pressure is low, temperature is low. When pressure is high, temperature is high. We can represent this mathematical relationship by saying P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. And so P1, T1, this would be initial conditions, and P2, T2 would be final conditions. And so we can manipulate this equation to solve for questions and scenarios where we have a constant volume of gas and we have uh, different temperatures and pressures. Let's take a look then at an example. So we have a sealed storage tank that contains argon gas at 17 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 910 kPa. What is the new pressure of the tank if its contents warm to 30 degrees Celsius during the day? Okay, so because it's in a storage tank, the volume is remaining constant here. So if we list out what we know, we know our initial pressure is 910 kPa. We know that our initial temperature is 17 degrees Celsius, or if we add 273 to that, that's 290 Kelvin. Our P2, we don't know, and we know our T2 is 30 degrees Celsius, or adding 273 to that gives us 303 Kelvin. Okay, we do need our temperatures in Kelvin, so make sure you do that conversion first. Then we're going to set up our equation. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. And we're plugging in our values. So we've got 910 over 290 is equal to P2 over 303. Okay, solving for P2 then gives us 951 kPa. And we can double check our answer because we know this is a direct relationship and the temperature is increasing, our pressure should also be increasing, which it is because it's going from 910 up to 951 kPa. So we can be fairly confident that our answer is correct. That's it then for this video. Let's move on to our next task.